Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about destination sequence distance vector routing protocols. That is DSDV routing protocol. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. Destination sequence distance vector DSDV routing protocol. DSDV routing protocol is one of the popular proactive routing protocols of ad hoc network. DSDV is half by half vector routing protocol requiring each node to periodically broadcast routing updates. This is a table driven algorithm based on modifications made to the Bellman Ford routing mechanism. In DSDV, each node keeps record of route information in the form of a routing table. Each table contains the following information. First point, ID of the destination node has to be maintained by each node. Details of the next hop has to be maintained by each node. That is, the data has to be passed in the relay manner. Metric at what distance the node has to transfer the information from one node to another node. That the each node has to maintain. Next parameter is sequence number. The data has to be transferred in the form of a packet. So, the data has to be maintained in a proper sequence number. Then the next parameter is time to loop parameter has to be maintained by each node. Each root broadcast message includes the list of ID of the destination node, number of hops required to reach the destination node, next hop, recent sequence number and metric parameter. These are the informations that has to be maintained by each root. Each node exchanges its updated routing table with each other. Updates in the routing table can be sent to other nodes in two ways. First one, in a full dump update, the information has to be updated. Second one, in the incremental update, the information has to be updated. In full dump update method, a node sends the whole routing table to the neighbors and thereby increases network overhead. In incremental update method, only the recent updated entries are sent. The incremental update method is more suitable when the network is large and stable so that heavy traffic can be avoided. Routing table maintenance in DSDV. The steps followed for maintaining a routing table at each node is given below. Each node receives the root information with most recent sequence number from other nodes and updates its table. The node looks at its routing table in order to determine the shortest path to reach all the destinations. According to the shortest path information, each node constructs another routing table where the node has recently updated route information to reach destination with minimum distance. This new routing table will be broadcast to its neighbors. On receipt of these messages, the neighbor nodes update its routing table. Network Topology Routing Table in DSDV The connectivity between nodes are shown using wireless link. Here is a network topology in the destination sequenced distance vector routing protocol. 
the routing table maintained at node A is shown here. In this routing table, the details of the destination, next hop, matrix, sequence number is indicated. Here, we consider about this network topology means the information available at node A. Imagine. The information has to be reached to the destination. In which way the information reaches the destination that is being discussed in previous. If node B is the destination for node A, then node A can directly transmit the packet with metric 1 and next hop is node B. But if node A wants to transmit a packet to node E, then it can find the route from the routing table. In this case, the node E is not in the visibility of node A. Therefore, the packet can be transmitted through the next hopacity with metric this is indicated in this network topology. Maintaining metric field. In ad hoc wireless network, all the nodes are moving and relocate its position from time to time. When topology changes dynamically, each node will broadcast a routing table update packet to its neighbors. The procedure for updating metric field in the routing table update packet is as follows. The routing table update packet starts with a metric of 1. When the neighbor nodes receive this packet, it will increment this metric by 1 and then rebroadcast the updated packet to its neighbors. This process will be repeated until all the nodes in the network receive the copy of update message. When a node receives more than one packet, then the update packet with smallest metric value will be considered to ensure the shortest path. Other paths will be ignored. Significance of sequence number. When a node broadcasts a routing table update packet, it has to increase the sequence number by 1. This is used to find out the updated root packet. When a node receives an update packet from its neighbor node and if the sequence number is equal to or greater than the sequence number of already received packet, then the routing packet will be updated in the table. Else, the received packet will be assumed as a stale or old packet and hence discarded. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.